pan economic application of the optimization in economics is when we try to optimize the profit of a firm that is trying to produce technically related goods so let us see how we can do this primarily we should try to understand the concept of technically related goods here it is explained with uh, the help of some mathematical steps primarily we are considering a firm which is in pure competition and it produces two goods its revenue and cost functions are given this is the revenue function based upon the first good and the second good that it produces and then we have cost function that also depends upon q1 and q2 that is the two goods that are technically related but how we can make sure that they are technically related simply by taking the derivative with respect to one of the goods that is q1 for example of the cost function we get the marginal cost function with respect to the first good that is q1 which is represented by mc1 now the derivative is equal to this you can easily do this uh, differentiation do it yourself and the answer is containing q1 as well as q2 so when both of them are there it means that the cost for the the additional cost for the first good is dependent upon not just its own output rather the output of the other good therefore they are technically related if there was no existence of the q2 then it would have meant that they are technically unrelated since we have q2 in this uh, mc1 function it means that there is technical relation between the two goods so this is the same thing that i have told you and it is written in words that you can read after pausing the video now we talk about the profit function definitely it is the difference of the revenue function and the cost function we can rearrange it and we can come up with this expression in which the squares are coming first and then the linear terms and then the cross term once if we have the uh, objective function we can uh, try to optimize it by using the first order conditions in the first step and then f1 and f2 will be calculated here in detail it is mentioned that how f1 is calculated simply by taking the derivative of this uh, profit function with respect to q1 this will be the answer of it and for q2 this will be the answer so here again a uh, simple differentiation step is something that you can do here so we have now two equations and both of them are in terms of q1 and in terms of q2 so we can solve them simultaneously and this will be the process of simultaneous equations so it's up to you how you want to solve it here what i have done is to calculate the value of q1 and put into the other equation so it will become something like this this is the value of q2 after substitution and definitely we will get the value of q1 when q2 is substituted and now uh, we can also find the value of q2 by returning the value of q1 so in the expression for q2 that we developed we can put the value of q1 which we have done and finally we get the value of q2 as well this asterisk definitely shows that it is a critical value of the certain variable so after noting these two values that is q1 and q2 we can come to the second order condition and you know that this is the expanded form of the second order condition in which the first thing that we observed was the negativity of the second order direct partial derivatives and then we are going to see that the product of the second order uh, direct partial derivatives is greater than the square of the second order 
cross partial derivative so we want the value of f11 f22 and f12 we have the value of f1 and f2 from the first order conditions so these are the first order conditions that we can use to find out f11 by again differentiating f1 with respect to q1 so this will be the result and then differentiating f1 with respect to q2 this will be the result and then differentiating f2 with respect to q1 then this will be the result and then differentiating uh, the value of f2 with respect to q2 we will get this value so now it is possible for us to verify the presence of a maximum and for that uh, we see that f11 and f22 both are negative which means that the first part of the second order condition is fulfilled however the second part is here this is the second part that we need to justify so we substitute the value here and f11 and then f22 and then f12 these are the certain values that we uh, have and substituting these values we get the satisfaction of this uh, inequality which is the second order uh, uh, second part of the second order condition so now we can find out the maximized value of profit at the critical values that is q1 and q2 status these are the critical values and when we substitute them in the profit function i will get the maximum value of the profit which will be 39.15 currency units so in this way we have found the maximized value of the profit function and we found the critical values for it and finally uh, we can say that it was all done by using the uh, second order condition and the first order condition and it was for a certain situation where the technical relation existed between the two outputs that were produced by the same firm thank you